draaien in. Ja, de tweede is rood of fruit. Ja, de tweede is rood en over. All the, all the racks are there. All the spare are there, yeah. When you're running on plant draft, leave it slightly open like that. So you can actually start, uh, start using secondary combustion. You can burn above the wood. Obviously, when you're locos and steam, you keep, you keep the blow on. Uh, if you want to hurry the fire along, or perhaps when you're shunting, or you're going under obstacles, and you, you've got obstacles above the chimney. But the, this is primarily to keep the firebox in the slight vacuum. Yeah. And now we sit and now we wait for the rags to burn through and the wood to ignite. Uh, but now this is called feeding the goldfish. Okay. The shaky way. Hey, oh, Tony, you do the right thing too. What? Tony. Yeah, but Tony has a way with It's not ideal, there's just not enough wood in there. So I'm being very, very disciplined. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to let the wood burn down into the valleys so that the interstices become very, very hot. That'll ignite some of the coal. Some of the coal fire. I don't want to start putting coal on now. I don't know why the fire, some of the guys start putting coal on already. Just a little bit uh, over the top. They, they feed the goldfish. This, this fire is too small to do that. So let's just leave it. Let it get nice and hot in the, in the pieces between the timber. Then we put some coal on. There. You see it's starting to burn on three sides now, which is basically what you're looking for with a horseshoe fire. It's a little bit too cold and too much cold in the center, so I'm gonna have to just leave it alone and then it burns flat on top and this fire is doing nicely. The, the next step, uh, the next step would actually be to build up the pile. What I've been doing, what I've been battling with, because this is a very small fire, I've been trying to widen the area of combustion to, to, to basically consolidate it, obviously get the cold ignited. But now we've got a wide enough area to work with, I'm going to wait for that dead patch in the middle to ignite, and I'm going to start building a pile of coal. It's that pile of coal when that ignites, that's the coal that we actually spread into the firebox and start the fire heating up the water in the sides of the, um, the water cavities in the sides of the firebox, and of course at, at the tube plate. So this is all about patience, it's all about timing, it's all about correcting what mistakes were made, and uh, trying to plan ahead. Yeah.